Ancient Egypt and its great pharaohs. Ramses III. Cleopatra. Pharaoh Hatshepsut. Pharaoh Akhenaten. Pharaoh Tutankhamun. Ancient Egypt was one of the world's oldest and most advanced civilizations. The Egyptian civilization, which emerged around 3100 BCE along the banks of the Nile River, endured for approximately 3,000 years, exerting its dominance over the known world. One of the prominent features of ancient Egypt was its robust, centralized governance. Pharaoh was the highest authority in Egypt and the earthly representative of the gods. The pharaoh governed the country with absolute authority, personally enacting laws and harshly punishing those who opposed. Pharaohs often married their sisters or cousins to preserve the power and wealth of the royal family. This practice, aimed at maintaining the strength of the royal family, resulted in an increase in births with disabilities. In ancient Egypt, family relationships held great significance. The family served as the fundamental unit of society, and its members harbored deep love and respect for one another. Egyptians placed considerable importance on family bonds, expecting members to assist each other. Religion was an important part of everyday life. The Egyptians believed in many different gods and goddesses. Among the most important gods were Ra, the sun god, Osiris, the god of the dead and resurrection, and Isis, the goddess of nature and magic. They believed in the existence of an afterlife. It was believed that life after death was a continuation of earthly life. While Egyptians mummified and buried their dead, they aimed to ensure that the deceased would lead a comfortable life in the afterlife. Women had fewer rights than men. However, in Egypt, women could engage in trade, own property, and testify in court. In addition, some women were able to achieve positions of power. For example, a woman named Hatshepsut ruled Egypt as pharaoh for over 20 years, though she did so by wearing a false beard and dressing as a man. In ancient Egypt, women wore wigs. Wigs were typically made from sheep's wool or human hair. Women adorned their wigs with various embellishments. Men generally wore short skirts made of linen or wool. They often wore a belt around their skirts. People typically walked barefoot. However, on special occasions or ceremonies, they would wear sandals or shoes. People used miswak to clean their teeth. Miswak is made from a branch of a tree and was used like a toothbrush. They often took baths at home, using water and soap. They had a healthy diet, consisting mainly of bread, vegetables, and fruits. Meat and fish were typically consumed on special occasions or ceremonies. They enjoyed a long lifespan. The average life expectancy was around 35 years, but some individuals would live up to 60 years or more. People generally received a good education. Schools were located in temples or palaces. Children usually started school at around the age of seven. In school, they were taught subjects such as reading, writing, mathematics, and religion. They were also advanced in art and culture. They built magnificent structures like pyramids, temples, and tombs. Additionally, they created significant works in the fields of painting, sculpture, and music. Ancient Egypt had a powerful army. The Egyptian army mainly consisted of infantry, but it also had war chariots and archers. The Egyptian army conducted many successful campaigns, expanding the empire's borders. Several pivotal battles occurred in ancient Egyptian history. Around 1675 BCE, there was the Hyksos invasion. The Hyksos were a group of nomads from the Middle East who occupied Egypt for about 100 years. They introduced new technologies to Egypt, such as chariots and bronze weapons. Around 1550 BCE, the Battle of Kadesh took place. It was a war between the Egyptian army led by Pharaoh Ramses II and the Hittite army led by Muatali II. The battle ended in a stalemate but increased Egypt's power and prestige. Around 1279 BCE, the exodus of Israel from Egypt occurred, as narrated in the Tanakh. 
In this event, a prophet named. Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. The Exodus diminished Egypt's power and prestige. In 525 BCE, there was the Persian invasion. The Persians, founders of the Achaemenid Empire, invaded and ruled Egypt for approximately 200 years. In 332 BCE, Alexander the Great conquered Egypt and ruled it as a kingdom centered around Alexandria. Alexander's conquest marked the end of Egypt's independence. Ramses, one of the most famous pharaohs of Egypt, he reigned from 1279 to 1213 BCE. His reign is considered the Golden Age of Egypt. He faced numerous challenges on his path to becoming a pharaoh. After the death of his father, Iseti, his brothers and uncles, struggled to ascend to the throne. Overcoming his rivals, he claimed the throne and became the pharaoh of Egypt. Throughout his reign, he organized many campaigns to expand the borders of Egypt. He conquered Syria, Palestine, and Lebanon. Additionally, by defeating Ethiopia and Libya, he demonstrated the might of Egypt. Not only a successful military commander, but he was also a great builder. He commissioned the construction of the Abu Simbel, Karnak, and Luxor temples. Furthermore, he moved the capital from Memphis to P. Ramses. He is considered the tallest pharaoh in the world, with an estimated height of 1.85 meters. He entered into numerous marriages, having eight principal wives and many concubines. He fathered a large number of children, with estimates suggesting more than 110 offspring. He even established an institution called the Royal Children for his offspring. He ruled for 66 years and passed away at the age of 90. Following his death, his son, Athirdi, Meremta ascended to the throne. After his death, he was deified and included in the Egyptian pantheon. Cleopatra. She was a member of the Ptolemaic dynasty. She ruled Egypt for 21 years, during which she took many significant steps to enhance the country's prosperity and power. She sought to maintain Egypt's independence by establishing close relations with the Roman Empire. Her relationships with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony made Cleopatra one of the most famous women in history. In 48 BCE, she visited Rome and became Caesar's mistress. Caesar supported Cleopatra and assisted her in governing Egypt. Cleopatra and Caesar had a son named Caesarion. In 44 BCE, after the assassination of Caesar, Cleopatra became involved with Mark Antony. Antony, Caesar's closest friend, ruled the eastern part of the Roman Empire after Caesar's death. Cleopatra and Antony were defeated by Octavian at the Battle of Actium in 31 BCE, and after their defeat, they committed suicide. Cleopatra did from a snake a bite. Cleopatra was an excellent chess player and could play many musical instruments. She was a skilled dancer and spoke several languages fluently. She was very intelligent, knowledgeable, beautiful, and charismatic. Cleopatra was the last pharaoh of Egypt. With her death, Egypt became a province of the Roman Empire, Pharaoh Hatshepsut. She was Egypt's first female pharaoh and one of the most powerful women in history. She ascended to the throne in 1479 BCE and ruled for 20 years, making her the longest reigning female pharaoh in Egypt's history. Hatshepsut co-ruled Egypt with her stepson, Thutmose III. However, she later removed Thutmose III from the throne and ruled alone. Due to concerns about the societal structure in Egypt and fear of not being accepted, Hatshepsut dressed like a man, wore a beard, and used male names. As a result, in many depictions, she appears as a man. He brought Egypt to great prosperity and wealth. He expanded the country's borders and was a successful commander who led many victorious campaigns. Additionally, he commissioned the construction of numerous temples and monuments. He initiated a period of peace in Egypt and was deified after his death. Pharaoh Akhenaten. He was a pharaoh of Egypt's 18th dynasty and ruled for 16 years. Akhenaten departed from the traditional Egyptian religion and began worshipping a single god, Aten hence changing his name to Akhenaten, meaning servant of Aten. Moreover, he relocated the capital from Thebes to Amarna and constructed a new city. Akhenaten was appointed as co-ruler by his father and ascended to the throne after his father's death. 
he was a monogamous pharaoh, married only to Nefertiti, with whom he had six daughters. Akhenaten initiated monotheism in Egypt, becoming the first pharaoh to do so. This event also served as a precursor to monotheistic religions. Upon ascending the throne, he promptly ordered the destruction of statues and temples dedicated to traditional Egyptian gods. This action created a divide between the priests and the general populace. He had a new city, Amarna, constructed, relocating the capital from Thebes to Amarna. Akhenaten altered Egypt's traditional artistic style, introducing a new artistic approach. He instigated significant social, cultural, and religious changes in Egyptian society, but faced considerable resistance to these radical transformations from the general population. His initiation of monotheism and abandonment of traditional Egyptian religion led to his condemnation by followers after his death. Following his demise, his son Tutankhamun ascended the throne, initiating a return to the old god cults, Pharaoh Tutankhamun. He was the 12th pharaoh of Egypt's 18th dynasty. He was known as the son of Pharaoh Akhenaten and Queen Nefertiti. However, recent DNA tests revealed that his mother was not Nefertiti. His mother was his father's half-sister. After his father's death, he ascended to the throne at the age of nine, and despite becoming very famous, he ruled for only nine years. He was inclined towards peace. However, despite all efforts for peace, he had to engage in wars with the Nubians and Asians. Tutankhamun restored the ancient Egyptian religion abolished by his father Akhenaten, enriched and adorned the priesthood orders of two important cults, and began restoring the ancient monuments damaged during the previous Amarna period. He moved his father's remains to the Valley of the Kings and relocated the capital from Akhetaten to Thebes. Probably due to consanguineous marriages, he had physical impairments. There was a physical disability that required him to use a cane on his left foot. He had various health issues, including a postural abnormality, and was also afflicted with various types of malaria. Additionally, he suffered from gynecomastia, Marfan syndrome, gender identity disorder, and intellectual disabilities. Tutankhamun was of slender build, with a height of approximately 1.67 meters. He had prominent incisors, which were inherited traits from his ancestors in the Thutmosis lineage. Clothing analysis from his tomb suggests that he had a slim waist and rounded hip lines. The exact cause of his death remains unknown, with several possibilities considered. These include being a victim of assassination, dying in an accident, succumbing to an infection in his broken leg, or facing death due to genetic issues. After his death, he was deified for restoring the ancient Egyptian religions and acting in accordance with the wishes of the people and priests.